JB Front Row Sports. How we doing? Yes, sir. We live behind the Beautiful scenes, day man. Out in the R, baby. We got Cam. Tell me what. Hey, talk to me, boss. Okay, we getting the live. Cameron, Cameron Smith, man. Uh, out here, man. Garner native. Okay. Born and raised, you know. Uh, attended Garner High School. From there, went to Naval Academy, playing football three semesters. Transferred to Winston. Hey man, I see that rain though. You oh, feel yeah. me? Well, hey, you Transferred know. to Winston, tried to break every record possible. Okay. Just about did it. So. I right, say less, man. Hey, yeah. we got we got a we got a Hall of Famer. You feel me? At the oh, front yeah. row. You feel me? It's only right. Yes, sir. All the like we got we got more people here. What's, what's good with it? Oh, oh, the front row is looking crazy today. What we got here? You at the front row with it too? Yeah, we got the front row. You Come too. on, man. Ball mains with the shades and the rain. It's okay. Get it. Come on, Cam put up with the, the rain for me. My boy put up with it. Oh, man. It's, I see how the front row looking today. I don't know what John, Coach, and King, they got some. They got some that they sleep for real. Sponsored by Bel Air. Oh man, we right, right. was getting cuts in the crib with it, man. Can talk, talk to us? Some Raleigh legends in here, man. Come on, boy, man. Uh -oh. Some boys here, some 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 ballers. We got some ballers. Oh. Hey, we got we got some ballers on the show today, man. Hey man, hey, man. y'all here, man? The front row show, man. Front row fresh, C Rob, Coach Rob, and my co-host, my cousin. What's up, cuz? You know, Prime J Rob here. I'm on the set today, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing a little essential work. But you know how we do it, man. But we got some legends in the building, man. How's everybody feeling today? Yeah, everything's good. You doing all right? Yeah, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. What's up, though, man? How y'all feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Yeah. Can't complain. Weather warming up. We outside today. Yeah. Hey, that's the, that's the day we outside. Man. Outside. We feel good to be back outside, too, man. Like, this pandemic, man, it, it, it put a lot of things in perspective. A lot of people drown. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people business thrive. You know what I mean? We had a lot of things thrive through this pandemic, man. Whether it's, you know, creating your own business, whether it's, you know, your, your LLC, getting the LLC off the ground, or a nonprofit, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people came through with nonprofits because, you know, they're put in positions where they can help people. You know what I mean? Like, that's how the millionaires stay rich, bro. That's how they, that's how they get rich, bro. They figure out a, a, a problem. They figure out a problem and they address it. They address the need. And that's why that's why dope did this. Hey, what you, you know what I'm saying? People want drugs. No, what you were saying, to touch on what you're saying, they're saying how like the pandemic, people had a job, but then a lot of people come up off the pandemic. Like, take verses, for example. Cool. There's no concerts, but whoever started the whole verses, you got like like, like you just had Earth Women Fire the Ivy Brother, like somebody coming up off that drug. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Timberland and the boys, man. They, 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 had, it. Yeah, for real. they, they had it for sure. What y'all think the best version for it, man? Hold on, let me ask you this. Uh, I know what nobody asked. You smoking a little Gucci? Hey, Gucci, that, that Gucci, though. Gucci, yeah, Gucci. Who won that, 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 so I, it's a long answer, right? So I feel I, I see what was going on. I feel like Gucci could have easily won like the battle if he put like like if he put them youngest that all them youngest he got in the game, all them youngest that follow, you know what I'm saying? What Gucci got, all them features he got, if he would have played some of that stuff, he would have been in the game. But right. I mean straight off like track for track for track, <laughs> Jesus was in the mix. He took it back to 06 and they leave. <laughs> that, that was, honestly, that was probably the, the realest verses. I felt that job. Nah, that was yeah. I'm watching like, yeah. what, what, what hey, you got for me, Jeezy? What you got for me? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Jeezy, Jeezy, uh, Gucci come back. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci came out hard too with that round, round one. He came out firing on, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To me, I think Gucci should have opened up with that first day out. But that's just me. Yeah. That's just me. That should get me. That shit like March Madness future shit to me. Bro. That's just me. <laughs> Gucci got a lot of bangs, bro. Yeah. But sure, I was trying to see Isaac. People been talking about yeah. Isaac. I never got to see the picture of it. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to pull it up. They were clowning him and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Saying he's going to write down and all that shit. Mm -hmm. They say, they say, man, I'm waiting for him to pop out and the whole time. <laughs> he was sitting there the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ron Isaac. <laughs> for real? Yeah. I ain't, I 
ain't see the jump though. I heard about it. I ain't seen oh, the Isley Brothers? Yeah, I ain't see that either. I ain't see it. I, I was this past weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Easter Sunday. Easter yeah. Sunday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
college national championships. Okay. Yeah. In my hey, is that game played a different? Does that that called black national championship? Is that a D two versus D two? Nah, nah. They they had something back in the day called the uh, Pioneer Bowl. I don't know okay. They play. Okay. Yeah. They would try to play that as it, but now now they um they play Celebration Bowl, which is number one team in the end, but it's number one team in the swag. So gotcha, that's gotcha, kind of gotcha. kind of how they determine it now. But back in the day, it was no question who who the champs were, man. <laughs> not you know, what I mean, not to be on the right hey, you know? hey, <laughs> hey, hey, look, that's all right, man. That's all right. That's all right. And look, now we we got Coop in the building too, man. Coop, what's going on, man? No boy Kyo. Cleo Superstar Cooper, man. What's going on? Cool this mother phone call, man. <laughs> good, man. How, 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 how you feeling, man? I'm great, man. Appreciate appreciate the invite yeah. to Front yeah. Row, but life is good. Life yeah. is great, man. Just just taking it as it comes. Um, you just had your little boy. Just had a just had a little one. He just turned four months All right. last All right. week. Right. So right. so uh, embracing embracing fatherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Embracing yeah. fatherhood. Watching them grow by the day, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, but uh, definitely blessed. Right. So you one of those dudes, Cleo, man, you played quarterback in high school, right? Did. And you made that transition to to receiver, you know what I mean, on the college level. Can you kind of, you know, just talk about that? Talk about, you know, how, how life was for you and Raleigh, you know what I'm saying, being a quarterback and you're a CT boy, man. You're from, you're from Connecticut. Coming to Raleigh and, you know, turning oh, up down right. here and then, you know, doing your thing, going on to play ball in Virginia. Can you kind of talk about that? Yeah, most definitely. So, you know, I'm one of them guys from, from Pop Warner on all up in high school, I was a quarterback. Mm -hmm. So to get to the collegiate level, you know, first day of camp, coaches like me, you know what I'm saying, let my quarterback stand up. So I stand up and they immediately tell me, Cooper, you going to receiver. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, damn, damn. off oh, rip. I would have been running routes all summer. I'm yeah. saying yeah. throwing the ball. So it was, uh, it was definitely an eye-opening experience. But looking back at it, it was it was the the best decision my coach at the time made for me, you know, because I had a real real had a real strong uh, real good strong set of hands, so um, I kind of just used that and my size to pretty much body uh, DB. So like I said, going back, it was the best decision my coach my coach made uh, for me to so move into the receiver position. That's dope, man. So what I want what I want to talk about what I is. Nah, nah, right, nah, for you, nah, right? Because you nah, just had your son. Nah, nah, you know what I mean? You just you just had your little boy. And you know, I met your pops, I had the opportunity to meet your pops. Wonderful family, bro. Your pops, your brother, everybody is nothing but love. Right. Right. But let's talk about the pressure. Was that did you feel any pressure? You named after your pops. Yeah. And your pops was the man at CT. I'm talking about how many how many sports was this man? Like how many state championships did he win? How many sports? How many different sports did he win a state championship in? And just kind of talk about the legacy that he built. For you know, for for you and his kids, you know what I mean, coming up, right. and with so, your brothers at and what they got going on now, because there's so, a lot of coops out here. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's a lot. They, it's a lot. Busy. Busy. Yeah. They getting busy. But yeah, growing, growing up in Connecticut, real real small state. My dad was the man in New Haven. You know, my dad didn't lose a game his senior year in football, basketball, and baseball. Come on, hold on, time out. Hey, hey, Come hey. See, here we go. That, that's that quarterback yeah. shit. That's that quarterback <laughs> shit again, right? He he didn't lose a game, <laughs> and then he, he just, just rambled through like <laughs> what? <laughs> Should have invited my dad. <laughs> he, he don't want to be here. What? Yeah, man. My dad. He didn't lose a game. He didn't lose a game. Three my dad sports. Had three sports. That's crazy, man. He went 12 and 0 in football. Won the state championship. Went 24 and 0 in basketball. Won the state championship. Went 32 and 0 in baseball. Won the state championship. And was the uh, Connecticut uh, State Player of the Year. So he got, he got a big picture. Get a big picture with Bo Jackson. Hey, Bo Jackson presented my dad with the Connecticut State Player of the Year trophy. Your pops got a lot of pussy in high school. <laughs> So to answer your question, there was a lot of pressure, man. And then um, obviously when I graduated from the eighth grade, we transitioned from Connecticut to, to North Carolina, which again was one of the best decisions my parents made for us. Yeah. There's not a lot going on in New Haven. You know, pistol wave in New Haven. <laughs> you know, New Haven. So, so, so moving down to Raleigh was one of the best decisions. But um, to answer your question, it was, it was a lot of pressure yeah. growing up. You know, people was like, yo, you like your pops? Yeah. Like, look, I ain't never seen my pops play, but shit, I hope I'm better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then as you get older, you start hearing all the stories. Like, you know, your pops ain't lose a game this year. You yeah. went undefeated in three sports. Yeah. I can't tell you how many people could say that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's huge. You know what I'm saying? And and also to get named Connecticut State Player of the Year after not losing a game this year. Yeah. That's just 
as you can see, with the pressure of others. So. For sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. So I want to talk about connections again, right? Because, you know what I mean, this, this, this episode, this, this, this gathering, right, is, is built here off of, you know, just connections. Yeah. You know what I mean? So with Phil, we work together at Enterprise, right? Like, you know, we, we work together at Enterprise Rental Car, man, and he <clears throat> became my dog. Like, we, we get to talking, and he talking about, yeah, I'm from Raleigh, and you know what I mean? I rock with John Wall, and you know what I'm saying? He, and John Wall, me, from, I'm from Maryland, John Wall with the Wizards, you know what I mean? So I'm going to rock with the Wiz kids. I'm rocking the whole team. Uh, so this time, he like, yeah, whoa, my man. I went to Central, so shout out to Dave. You know what I mean? Because Dave was security with John. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I know Dave, he in my city. It's, you know, I see him as love. But on top of that, my man LB, LB does security for John Wall too. And LB played with me since Boys Club. Okay. You know what I mean? He played with me at Friendly too. Right. Shout out to uh, my high school, man, Friendly Patriots. We went 14 and up. I ain't doing basketball. I do got a ring in basketball. <laughs> my freshman year, they won states. That's you know what I'm saying? I say they won states because they moved me up. You know, after, after your freshman <laughs> season. Yeah, after after the playoffs, they, they, they pulled you up to the right, playoffs. Right. So I sat on the bench and, you know, got me a new one. Got me a new one. Hey, shout out to Sam. Shout out to, hey, shout out to Sam. Shout out to, hey, Chris Howard, man. Lloyd, all the boys, man. Uh, Mike Wright, he was on that squad. He got moved up too. Joe was on that squad. What you with? Jay, yeah, Jay played Jay Hoop too. So yeah, Jay Hayden, he was on the squad. It's that. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, man. So just 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 the connections, right? I'm like, man, my man locked in with you know he walked, he locked in the wall. You know what I'm exactly. saying? It's, it's crazy. We go out, we you know what I'm saying? Like it's just how small the world could be. You know what I mean? Based off connections and and here we are, man. So hey, it's crazy, yo, man. He he played on the same high school basketball team, my brother, man. For real? In yeah. the can. That's how I, I knew about Cam. Yeah. But that that's that garner team that Cameron had, man, Chris Culver, yeah, Lodi Nine, Chris Culver, Brandon Banks, Banks, Josh Oldie, Josh Oldie Virginia Tech, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reggie Bowen, yeah. South Carolina, yeah. yeah. So we, moved, we moved down here, my brother Sink, I think he was a junior, after the junior year, man. But that's how I knew yeah, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Trey, Trey Grissom went to the Naval Academy with me too. That was our first game every year, Garner. Yeah. <laughs> no Garner. Remember? Yeah. First game. Basketball squad. Yeah. 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 They just, we just won. It. Yeah, just one state. Yeah. So y'all, y'all for real, uh, I don't think y'all know this. Of course y'all don't know this. But I had a little cousin that moved down here that went to Garner Middle. My yeah. Garner got middle school. Yeah. 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 So I had a little cousin that moved down here, bro, it was a dog in little league football, bro. He moved down here and became more of a dog. Yeah. Right. I looked up to y'all group. Yeah, yeah, ballers at, at Garner, yes. but end up moving back to to, uh, to to Alexandria and playing at T.C. Williams with, at the Memorial of the Titans. Yeah, okay. But young boy put up numbers. Number, he yeah. would have did that down here in Garner, right. but he was yeah. running back. Yeah. What was this? Running back. Okay. okay. If I stop on his tape, you're going to be like, damn, Garner would love this. So he never went to high school. Shoot, just go to school. Yeah, just go to school. Right. That's cool. <laughs> he was a beast. He was supposed to go to Arizona State, man. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Yeah, I'm about to feel, man. Pull it up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all right. I, I'm the same way, man. Yeah. Hey, if I, this this day and age, boy, if I should ever, I would have my huddle like this. Yeah, like, sure. like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, they, they got. Click of a link right now. Yeah. We ain't have that. That's what I'm saying. These youngers right now, they got so much, you know what I mean? Just on their on they phone, just a click of a button. Here we go. Fox 5, you know what I'm saying? That's what I did. Right. <laughs> I, had, I had to wait for my joint to transfer from VHS to DVD. Right. I had to mail it to the coach. Now, that was, that that was, was another right. three days. I had the DVD. I had, I had, I had, had to hope the DVD ain't great. Then I had to hope they got the mail. Right. <laughs> I had to get it on DVD. My joint, it was a dude up there, Keith, man. He had to get it on DVD jokes. He was making everybody highlight to So that joint was crucial. That was crucial. So look, man, I want to talk about you. So you, you uh, again, you know what I'm saying? You was like the Naval Academy, right? And you yeah. just brushed over that, like, yeah, I was at the Naval Academy. So let's let, let's Boy, talk about that. Let's, 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 let's talk. Let's talk about that, man. The difference between you know playing at the Naval Academy and you know coming to a HBCU. Man, the biggest difference is just the school population and freedom. 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 <laughs> yeah, actually, been six years in the army, man. Yeah, actually being able to do what you want. Mm -hmm. um, Instead of having to go ES Brigade, instead of having to go March, instead of having to go Damn, this and that, and you, know, you know what I mean? It's, it's just different. So you got different things you could be doing at, the, at any school other than a military school. Yeah. So the main thing I had to focus on, kind of had to 
stay. I was kind of out of control. I can say that. I was out of control. You when, know you, when you got down yeah, to, had, had to, to the trade yeah. folk. Yeah. I don't know about the trade folk. When you got to the trade folk. Yeah, we came got together. January 10th. Yeah, I had to, so I had to pull this back up, man. Ended up having to go to um, summer school. But the thing was, I wasn't. The reason why my grades were kind of slipping was because I was. I was sitting there writing out plays, yeah. study, watching, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So, actually, really perfecting my craft. So, with all of that, I learned time management, the importance of certain things that just have to be done. So there's an order in which stuff has to be completed for you to do some stuff. So that was like the main thing, the main difference, not just for you. But I'm glad I went to Navy though, just because of the attention to detail that it's hard for me. Right. And that's something that helps me with everything. Mm -hmm. Know some little bit of things, which made me a better quarterback. Like those little things preaching out most of You know what I mean? So that's the I'll say that's the main thing I took away from it. Glad I took away from it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and you mentioned writing, so you y'all actually came into uh, you know, Winston together. Right, hold on. one thing I want to touch base on, right? Winston, Winston what's the Right. Know. Some people say Winston said Winston said him. Winston said him. Well, did y'all experience that out there? Cause it's, it's, man, I had some crazy nights in Winston. <laughs> it's Winston, Winston, they, they get him. Hey, you know, let me tell y'all some crazy stuff. My 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 first college visit was where you think was at? Winston. It's crazy, bro. I ain't seen Winston. Winston. My man. Yeah. I'm going to Winston. I'm on the sideline with my head. My uh, offensive line coach, he, he graduated from Winston. White dude. Big dude. I, I forget who he used to say he looked like, but big dude. His name is Coach Erlock. Um, Full Killian coach, because I was in military school like you. Yeah. We go down to the game, we in our uniform, got our Letterman jacket on, pants tight as shit. <laughs> King came up to me like, damn, good, pants tight as shit. Hey, good. My had his, hey, my man had his gig line straight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lined up crispy too, though. <laughs> so uh, I see King out there, I'm like, oh, look at my man over here, freshman starring with the 42. We on a racetrack, I don't know what the fuck kind of stadium this is, but it's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Great. But I was like, bro, that, that shit was crazy, though. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, they had a freshman quarterback that was my quarterback from college. Y'all might know him, T.N. Jefferson. I don't know. He, he, um, T. N. Jefferson, he, he uh, was where, like, number 12 or something. But I guess he probably came in. When, when you graduated? Uh, 14. High school. Oh, high school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he was there with you. But he went to. No, he went to oh, you went to Naval Academy. I ain't getting Winston to ten. ten. That's yeah. right. Like yeah. That Monte Purvis was gone, but he was. You, you heard yeah. him? Yeah. yeah. Shawty yeah. was. Hey, Shawty was man. <laughs> that, so my freshman, year, he was. What's his name again? Monte Purvis. Hey, cuz I heard they, they said that nigga name a little special when he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> They used to say, cuz, they ain't a little cuz. I never forget it, bro. They say that, bro. That was some cool as shit. I give them nothing. <laughs> they say, put your fours up, ladies and gentlemen. Not for the fourth quarter, but for Monte E. Per. I said, oh, oh shit. Hey, nah. I said, Shawty, man. That's an ABCU announcement. He was, he was from Friday. Yeah, they definitely did. I don't know if it was a beat out there. It could have been. It could have been. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. maybe. Shout okay. out to the radio station. What they? Uh, 102? Yeah. 102. Yeah. 102. Yeah. 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 But nah, it, 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 was, it was definitely crazy. It was. Yeah. But yeah, it was crazy seeing my man because I'm my freshman year. I'm, I'm, I'm in the game too. Like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm in the game. My man over there with this tight ass shit. Like, I got you off, my dog. Chasing, chasing that little nigga around. Shorty, Shorty was a dog. He was nice. He was nice. Yeah. Man, so hey, life out VA, man. For folks who don't know where the Henry is, bro, talk talk about it, bro. Where 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 is it? Located? Tell you what, it is not the seven five seven. Yeah, <laughs> you're not in Northern Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm in Southwest Virginia, <laughs> Virginia, Tennessee line. Oh, yeah. so we up in the mountains. We about we about forty five minutes from Virginia Tech. Yeah. Okay, so we up there near Blacksburg, Radford University, and those things that Radford, yeah, I've been to Radford. I, I, so, I actually met my teacher about coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about connections. I met my wife at Virginia Tech. She was at a party with her cousin that went to Radford. I was down with Virginia Tech with my man Courtney. Shout out to Courtney Prince. He was playing with VTech at the time. I know Courtney. You know Courtney Prince? Yeah. Oh. He started coaching at VTech a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. All right. That's my guy. He played for Boy yeah. Park. I played for Prince. Yeah, I Oh, yeah, Courtney, Courtney, my oh, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I was out there with Courtney, Rob Carroll, and Tyrone Taylor. Yeah, 
Oh, was out there, man. That's how I met my wife. Oh, uh, back for like 15 minutes from that's the That's how I met my wife. But yeah, so so so, so and, that, and that's what happened for a row, man. She yeah, just yeah, yeah. You know you know what's up with you. You know what's up with Virginia? You don't eat too many cats, you know what South West Virginia is, yo. I'm gonna lie, I heard they say, yo, we yo, you wanna come on and visit the Emory? My first thought, I'm going to 757. Right. Nah, bro, you look on the map. Well, the opposite side of the state, right? <laughs> I'm six hours from ODU. Yeah. I'm like, wow. So definitely an eye-opening experience. I think you were supposed so to look, one time. I'm going to touch on that too, cuz. So, like, just, oh, the, just good the, good the power good. of, like, how small this world is and, you know, like, how you know my man is Anthony Ray. Who? Aunt Ray. Aunt Ray. Aunt Ray. That's my wife's cousin. <laughs> my wife, like, that's my right. wife's cousin, bro. Right. 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 My man, like, I'm with him. Like, that's his man. You, you know, know what I mean? Like, 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 the thing is, we all athletes too. The athlete world is right. small too. Oh, oh with his dream. Like, even like my cousin John, like, he comes from the athletic family. You know what I'm saying? He's a big athlete. My dad played football in my life. A lot of it's like, a lot of it's like genetics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Aunt Red, he transferred into Emory with me too. So I left Winston and went to Emory. Sure, I can tell you about 757 though, man. Talk about it, man. Nah, it, it was cool, man. We um I was staying with a couple of coaches, man. We had a, a spot maybe uh, Oh that's right. I'm Hampton boy. An hour and a half. We stayed in stay Virginia Beach. We didn't stay in Hampton that year, you know what I mean? The first three years we stayed in Virginia Beach. So we were right there close to the water man. Beautiful place. You yeah. know what I mean? Nothing but love, man, honestly. Yeah, oh, of course, my man, uh, the quarterback that came from DC, white skin. Uh, West Wolf, West Lady, my yeah. man, West. <laughs> Shout out, West. That's uh, what's the name, little brother, uh, King. And you were there when Aaron Small, Aaron Small, I was going to see the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 I met him. Shout out, Miles Wolf, Miles West, man. Yeah. 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 I'm coaching. I'm what high school track now? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm at uh, 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 a small high school. We stay in Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's about it's about forty minutes from here. Yeah, that's seven five seven. Nice. I took my first visit. Seven five seven. ODU. Mm -hmm. Good times, man. Let me ask you this, man. What's uh, this? This for you, Cat. What's What's the biggest challenge for a young quarterback going into college, bro? Because I mean, quarterback was always my favorite position. I dreamed of being quarterback. I played the game. I'm create my play, create plays a quarterback. But I say that to say I just, I just want to know that, man, because. I always know, I mean, anybody who plays sports knows that quarterback is, is one of the toughest sports, I mean, the toughest position to play, period. By far. Yeah, I would say the same thing I'm teaching my quarterbacks now since defense recognition. Coming, when I went to college, man, it's, I was in the film room with Coach Jasper. He's teaching me three technique, you know what I mean, one technique. And why, is that a one why step? Not? Or? Nah, that, that's the techniques of the defensive lineman. Okay. I'm sitting there writing right. options and stuff, midline option, all that stuff. Yeah. See, I knew that. I didn't want to clarify that for our viewers. Yeah, and then, um, and then when I went to Winston, it's totally different because we, the main thing we're looking at is the, the main thing we're looking at is the, uh, the uh, secondary. So coming out, the, the hardest thing for me was getting my eyes on my read and keeping it pre-snap, finding my read. And post that and take my eyes there. And then from there it went from manipulating the defense with my eyes. Knowing, you know what I mean? I know I'm going to the left, but I might come out looking to the right, you know, if I got time, you know what I mean? So right. all that comes from just knowing the defense, and then really knowing your offense in and out. Because if a quarterback's back there thinking he'll, he'll never produce. Because he, he's more worried about the play. If he ain't got the play all the way down, he's more worried about, oh man, we got a post back here or yeah, you know what I mean? So right, right. there's no way for them to go through his progressions and really be an official quarterback. Right. But that defense recognition is what really separates guys. When you hear people saying, oh, he's a, <clears throat> he's, a, he's always watching film. There's a reason they're watching film that they're actually learning something. And the game, the game is so fine at the higher levels to where those, all those little details create that inch to a foot of separation that Win and lose ball games. So, mm -hmm. what's, you think, what's, what's, your, what's your thoughts on the seven oh seven world right now? Because the seven oh seven has took off. Yeah. Well, we went we went down, we got some youngest uh John was coaching at high impact, right? Uh here in Raleigh, some some, some young kids, <laughs> right? We took a team out uh down to Jay not it wasn't Jay Beach, uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina.
Hey, okay. So they got the young dogs out there. They, they fake. I mean, it's just the world is crazy now. Cause yeah. You got youngins with speakers, the big speakers that you run yeah. with. Yeah. They, 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 they doing all the dances right. they after every play. Yeah. Yeah.